Hi, my Cancer cuties. Welcome to your weekly forecast for May 23rd through the 29th. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising. We do have Mercury going retrograde through Taurus at this time. We're going to check it and see what messages are coming up for you guys. Yes, I'm setting the intention for the next seven days. However, you might see this video a year from now. You're going to see it whenever you're meant to hear the messages. Keep in mind, these are general messages for the collective. Not every single message is going to resonate, and that's okay. Take what does, leave what doesn't. As always, you may need a private reading. So without further ado, my Cancer cuties, let's see what's coming up here for you guys. First card coming up is the Four of Cups. Now, I know some people don't like to see the Four of Cups because they see it as like a negative card. However, there's really no negative, okay? The, 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 the cards come in with different messages to help us, to, to give us a heads up. And Four of Cups is oftentimes seen as uh, we may have tunnel vision, we may be missing out on an opportunity, we may be very uh, dissatisfied with something that's being offered to us or wanting to turn it away. But, the, and I've said this in previous YouTube videos, the Four of Cups always makes me think of the um, of <clears throat> what Rumi wrote about when he wrote about divine discontentment. And divine discontentment is the moment when you begin to uh, realize like, hey, you know, I'm a child of God. I'm a child of the universe. Nobody is better than me. Nobody is above me. Yet I'm looking around and I'm seeing all these people. They have all these blessings, you know. I'm looking at my neighbors. They have it good. Uh, you know, my, my cousin just got a promotion. Uh, my, my best friend just ended up in a wonderful relationship. Um uh, uh, my coworker came back from a great vacation, you know, and so like you're saying, like, where's my vacation? Where's my relationship? Where's my promotion? Like you start to say to yourself, hey, like I deserve this stuff too. It's not jealousy. You're not looking at other people hating them or wishing that they didn't have it, but you are realizing, hey, I deserve just as much a a as everybody else. And so for me, Four of Cups is like you're not satisfied, but for me, it's a time that you're you're raising the bar. So sometimes to be in the in the feeling of dissatisfaction is a positive thing, because we're making a statement to the universe, like, "Hey, universe, I know that I deserve more than this, and I'm ready. I'm ready to receive it. I'm I'm opening up to receive it." Because we manifest what's in our life, even when there's icky things in our life or things that we're not happy, we manifested those things according to our beliefs, right? Because we thought that that's all that there was, or that's all that was possible. And now you're realizing, hey, there's more possible. So you're raising the bar to manifest more. Um, a lot of you might be looking around like, you know, this is bare minimum and, once upon a time, bare minimum was a, a dream come true because you were struggling so much. And so now you might be in the in the uh, energy of, okay, well, now I'm ready for more. I'm ready for more than this. I deserve more than this. So keep in mind, you can be in the spirit of dissatisfaction, but you can still be grateful for what you have. So focus on what you're grateful for. And know that you are deserving and worthy of even more and that that's going to be coming in for you. So I feel as you're coming into the week ahead, Cancer, you're going to be beginning to notice and see things in your life that you're like, this isn't enough. This really isn't enough. Um, and even though this is the four of cups and the cups is the, um, the suit of emotion, I'm feeling a lot of energy in my throat right now. So I feel like a lot of you are not only realizing this, but you're speaking up, like you're speaking up in situations or you're, you're, you're calling people out when they're, excuse my language, being very half-assed. But I also feel like you're doing it in a very classy kind of way, like you're doing it in just a very classy kind of way and just very matter of fact, like, oh, oh no, you know, like you, you, you can, you can, you know, do better than that or, um, oh, well, you know, uh, 
like you you're just you're speaking up you're speaking up and you're asking more for like what you want or you're reminding someone like oh i asked you for such and such uh you you, you forgot such and such okay it's okay you can go get that right but i i feel like you're speaking up and you're doing it in like a just a very matter of fact very calm very classy respectful kind of way uh but you are like just letting people know like you're not letting things slide that's the energy that i feel here around cancer the next uh card that's coming up here is the eight of cups which is really funny because i was gonna say something else about the four of cups but then i was like well let me keep it moving here let me not get stuck on one card for too long but now that the eight of cups came up next to the four of cups it confirmed the energy that i was feeling okay so what I was feeling that's kind of being confirmed for me with the Eight of Cups coming up is I feel some of you in a work situation have been working very hard for something. And e this could even be if you're doing something in terms of self-employment or if if your if your livelihood depends on selling things like or creating things or like if you're doing some kind of contract work or if you're if you're employed for a company whatever it might be i feel like you've been working really hard on something uh and now is the time of like sitting down and moving forward like okay here's how it's going to be moving forward so some of you maybe have been working towards a raise or a promotion, or you've been working towards a deal, and now is the time that they're going to sit down with you, and they're going to give you the offer, or they're going to tell you, this is what we're going to give you, right? Four of Cups made me feel like some of you were going to be like, what? Like, like you're thinking in your mind, like, seriously, is that, is that all they have for me? Is, is that what they're, is that seriously all they're, they're going to be offering me? So I feel here that some of you have been working towards some kind of advancement in your business, your 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 career, your your work or your livelihood, and you're not satisfied with what's being offered. And you're like, uh, they're going to have to do better than that, right? And now Eight of Cups came up. And Eight of Cups can be searching elsewhere, like feeling unfulfilled and searching elsewhere, wanting to move on, wanting more, um... So I do feel like a lot of you might start looking at, okay, this week, like, what are my options? But not just that, because Eight of Cups can come up for me around career change when you're wanting to do more fulfilling work. You're wanting to do something that matters, something that's more meaningful to you, something that's near and dear to your heart. So it's a sense of, like, seeking a purpose and fulfillment. Another thing about the Eight of Cups, and some of you may remember hearing me say this in previous readings, Eight of Cups comes up for me a lot in readings when um, you're kind of an overachiever or a perfectionist, and people might look at you like you just, you make it look so easy. You put your mind to something and you don't rest until it makes, until you make it happen. Some of you may even be making a living doing something that people are looking at you like oh you're so lucky like you actually you actually made it and a lot of other people didn't make it um or it doesn't have to be around making a living but people just see you as you're able to accomplish really difficult things and so people might think you just have a lot of luck but they don't understand they don't see how hard you work but that's the thing about the eight of cups it's like for me you put something in your mind and you don't rest until you achieve it but your happiness is very short lived because you're like, you know, I'm really proud of myself that I accomplished this, but it didn't make me feel the way I thought it was going to make me feel. I still feel like something is missing. So maybe I focused on the wrong goal and maybe I'm going to be happier when I start my own business instead, or you just put that goal and then you succeed at that. And you're like, oh, well, I'm proud of myself, but again, ah, something is missing. You know what? Maybe I'm going to be happier when I uh, find my soulmate. And then that happens and you're happy for a little bit and you're like, something is still missing. Maybe this is the wrong soulmate. Maybe I'll be happier when we're married. Maybe I'll be happier when we have kids. And it just becomes the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. So sometimes the Eight of Cups comes up for me when Spirit says, look, you're working on something right now. And you're going to receive it. It's going to be yours. 
But unless you make a specific shift, it's going to be like all the other times in your life where you work really hard and you get it and then you're like, oh, something is still missing. And your angels and guides see how hard you're working and they don't want you to be in that cycle of unfulfillment. So Eight of Cups comes up to say, look, until you make your spiritual connection, nothing is going to be satisfying. Nothing is going to be fulfilling. You're going to constantly be searching because there's always going to be that little bit of a void or that little bit of an emptiness that you're seeking to, to, to fill. It's awesome that you're doing it in productive ways. It's awesome that you're, you're not trying to fill the void in, in self-destructive ways or self-medicating ways. It's awesome that you're being so productive, but it's so sad to see you work so hard and succeed time and time again, but still feel like something is missing. And so your angels and guides want you to know that right now, in, in addition to doing everything that you're doing for your manifesting and working towards your goals, you need to visit your spiritual routine and find some ways to bring more life into it. You might be someone who uh, prays and meditates regularly. You might be somebody that goes to religious or spiritual uh, meetings uh, regularly, right? And but, but it becomes very habit. And that's the thing about routine. It can become just very automatic. And so what are some ways that you can spice that up, that you can bring some new energy into it? Maybe spending time in nature, maybe spending time with certain elements. You know, there's earth, water, fire, air, um, maybe spending time with animals or children or just something that helps you to feel connected to, to, the, to, to the divine, to God, to source, to creator. Um, music, music is also very powerful and very moving. So anything that you can do to kind of bring some life into your spiritual routine so that it's not just matter of fact or routine or just the habit of what you do and focus on feeling connected spiritually, you'll start to feel a lot more fulfillment and you'll be a lot more aligned to where things will begin coming to you a lot easier. The next card that's coming up here for Cancer is your card. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ooh, I love this for you, Cancer. So this is the Chariot. It's a Major Arcana card. When the Major Arcana cards come up, the things that you're dealing with are directly connected to what you came here to experience and what you came here to master. And the chariot card is telling us there's going to be movement. You're making a decision. You're realizing that you're worthy and deserving of more. So doors are going to start opening, right? Some of you, all of a sudden, you're going to be called for interviews. Some of you, all of a sudden, you have people uh, approaching you and like wanting to, to date you. Uh, some of you are beginning to find uh, you know, places or things like to move into, like you're like, oh, there's a lot of options or like all of a sudden things are opening up that before you were like, it was so scarce. You were looking for it. You couldn't find it. You couldn't see it. Now there's, there's options and there's movement, things moving forward. Um, even though the chariot is not a card that's associated with news, I do feel like a lot of you have been waiting for a decision to come in that's finally coming in, that's like getting the ball rolling or getting things moving. The reason why I got so excited when I saw the chariot come up for you guys, this is your major arcana card. So for me, when I'm reading for somebody and the major arcana card comes up for their zodiac sign, it tells me that this is a situation that you're coming into your full power. You're coming into your full authentic self and your true identity and you're shaking off the programming and the shaping and the molding that we all go through in our life and you're just going back to that original being that was born you know that that that, that came into this planet uh without the the shaping and the molding and the conditioning and very confident falling in love with yourself in a non 
narcissistic way, in a very healthy way. The things that you thought were weaknesses or character defects, you're like, wait a minute now, these are actually very positive tools. When I apply them productively, these are these are not these are not defects. I just gotta, you know, use them better. And so you're you're accepting all of yourself, right? You're not trying to change yourself so much, but you're learning to work within your nature instead of trying to go outside your nature. And you're coming into this confidence and you're living your life unapologetically, right? You're not worried about what other people are thinking or how they're seeing things. So I'm always excited for somebody when their major arcana card comes up. Chariot card also comes up with the energy of decisiveness and that this is a time for you in terms of your free will. You're going to have a lot of options coming up. It's going to start this week, like kind of trickling in, but you'll see this happening for you over the next few months and you're going to have a lot of choices coming in and it's going to be confusing for some of you. You know, it, for some of you, things have been blocked for so long and you just wanted one option. You just wanted one door to open. And now all of a sudden, all the doors are opening. And you're like, uh, hello, uh, a little help here. Which one am I supposed to go through? Which one am I supposed to choose? God is not testing you. The universe is not testing you. All the doors opening up is not a test to see if you make the right decision. All these doors opening up is saying, my dear, my darling, Right now, your life lesson is learning to exercise free will. A lot of your life lesson in this lifetime is for you to learn that you have free will and that you have the right to want what you want and go after what you want. And so your angels and guides can't choose the door for you, but they're going to help you and they're going to support you on your journey once you decide which door you want to go through. So you need to make the decision and you need to choose what you want. But this is very much a choose your own adventure period of time you're coming in or that, that you're going to be experiencing. And so I've said this before, the chariot card always makes me think of the quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson when he said, once we make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. Okay, once we make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. And so you decide. Right now you're coming into the lesson of free will. That's what you have to learn right now. That you have the right to make your own choices. You have the right to want what you want. And you have the right to go after what you want to go after. Chariot card also comes up with the sense of travel, movement. It is one of my relocation cards. Sometimes opportunities are opening up to give us a fresh start, like to go elsewhere and to start over or to have a clean slate. So some of you may be manifesting a new beginning in that way. The next card that's coming up here for you all is the Two of Swords. Now the Two of Swords is a card that comes up when we come into the energy of indecisiveness. And I feel like the reason why you guys are indecisive is because you're going from zero options to many options. And now you're like, I feel stuck because I don't know which one to pick. And the only reason why you're not picking is the fear, the, the, the fear of moving forward. We want to avoid that procrastination and that inaction because that's going to create blockages again. And then we get into the point or the energy where now we need a tower moment. We need a tower moment to come in and get us moving. And Cancer, a lot of you have had enough. You've had, you've had enough tower moments in your life. You don't need any more. And so this is energy that's coming up that's inviting you uh, to move past the fear and to make your decisions. I also feel here... Oh my gosh. Ooh, I just got chills. Okay. I won't go into the background story because I want to save time, but spirit just showed me something. And when spirit shows me a person um, or a situation, it's spirit's way of telling me, Hey, Amethyst, this is what's going on in the situation. Okay. Some of you are going to have a really big offer come your way. And this is going to seem like something that you have prayed for or you've wanted for a really long time. Okay. 
And for some of you, again, like maybe you, you've been at the same company for like a really long time and you've been wanting so bad for them to promote you and you just gave up. You're like, you know what? They're not going to promote me. I give up. And you start to apply for other jobs and something comes in. And then they're like, wait a minute, cancer. No, don't go. Don't leave. We want to give you a promotion. Or maybe it's like somebody broke your heart and you were trying really hard uh, to heal and to move on. And you're like, you know what? This person's never going to get it together. They're never going to respect me. They're never going to get serious about me. And now all of a sudden you're ready to move on with your life. Whether there's a new relationship or whether you're getting ready to move or you're doing something very big, all of a sudden this person is resurfacing and they're saying, wait a minute, cancer, don't go. I love you. It's you. It's always been you. They're coming at you like bended knee energy, like, you know, like, let's do this. Uh, and so now you're like, oh my gosh, like, what do I do? But the fact that the two of swords is here, they're presenting you with this opportunity but they may also be doing it out of like a self-preservation. They, they need you more than you need them. And so there's hidden factors here. You're not being told the full truth. You're not being told the full story, right? So that person that's coming to you on bended knee, there's some stuff going on in their life that they're not telling you about. And then if you end up choosing them, you're going to get caught up in all of that mess. And it's going to start coming into your life when you've been working so hard on your life. Now you have this person's mess coming into your life. Their mess becomes your mess or your employer. They may be very desperate. I'm getting a very specific message for those of you where this is an employment situation. I'm hearing beware the ship is sinking. So even if you were to take that promotion, they may be promoting you. Because they need you to, uh, they need you, they need you there. But they're tying up loose ends because they're getting ready to close the doors. Or they're getting ready to sell out, uh, to, to, to sell to somebody else. And then they end up getting liquidated or whatever it might be. So in a situation where you're feeling guided to leave, and then all of a sudden somebody is coming in and they're like, you know, we, we we need you or please don't go. I'm hearing that the ship is sinking, you know, even if it's like on a personal level. So they may be looking at you to come in and, and play savior. And uh, that is that is a free choice, <coughs> excuse me, free will decision for you to decide what you want to, to do. But I know that if it were me, I wouldn't want to. I definitely wouldn't want to, you know, like I would, I would not want to be in that position of trying to save a sinking ship and then risk going down with the ship. You know, is it worth it? Do you really want to go down with that ship? Probably not. Probably not. And so just be aware of anything that's stopping you from moving forward, right? It might seem very, uh, validating or vindicating. It could even feel romantic, right? Like you're about to board the airplane and somebody comes running after you like, wait, no, don't go. It can feel very beautiful, but th these are energies preventing you from growing into bigger things, from going into bigger opportunities. So again, you decide what you want to do. You have free will, but keep that in mind. You might want to check out your moon sign, your rising sign. Some weeks your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more than your sun sign. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you go to, excuse me, calendly.com slash amethystangelite, there's a link in the description of the video that takes you to the scheduling page. You can schedule with me there. Um, so uh, love readings for May are linked in the description. Love readings for June, you're going to see them popping up, but there's a delay in making the videos available uh, to, to view, to making the videos public, because now there's an extra like layer of <laughs> background checks and things that my videos have to go through. But they are coming, guys. I am loading them, and then little by little, I'm making them uh, 
uh, uh, public once they're done being checked. So I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Don't forget to check out the daily messages. Take care and be well, my dears.